Order. Questions to the Prime Minister. Mr Gregory Campbell. Number one, sir. The Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm sure the whole House will want to join me in paying tribute to all those involved in the start of the Tour de France in Britain. From the event organisers to all the great cyclists, I think this event showcased the best of Yorkshire and the whole of Britain has to offer, and I was delighted to see such incredible support throughout the race. Mr Speaker, this morning I had meetings with ministerial colleagues in, and others, and in addition to my duties in this House, I shall have further such meetings later today. Mr Gregory Campbell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. We join with the good news that the Prime Minister has just relayed. The Northern Ireland Equality Commission is threatening legal action against a family-owned bakery because they wouldn't print a political message on a cake. The requested message was completely at variance with the company's Christian values. Does the Prime Minister agree that so-called equality is now being viewed by many as an oppressive threat to religious freedom? And does he further agree that such freedoms should be protected by the introduction of a conscience clause? I'm not aware of the specific case that the Honourable Gentleman raises, and of course I'll go away and have a look at it. But I do think a commitment to equality in terms of racial equality, in terms of equality to those of different sexes, equality in terms of people who have disabilities, or indeed tolerance and equality of people who make different, have with different sexualities, all of that is a very important part of being British. Yeah.